Hello, my friends. Hi, everybody. Happy New Year, guys. Thank you for joining me. Cheers, coffee. As per usual, something, some things I'll never give up. This, this is my coffee in the mornings and in the evenings. It is 10 p.m. over here. So, welcome, welcome, guys. My name is Angela and I am the owner and creative energy from Elfen and Helden. I'm a premier retailer for Dixiebel over here in uh, Germany, in Frankfurt. So when you join me, just let me know where you're watching from. Hang on. And say hi to me. Hi, Nina. Hi, Yvonne. Hi, Helen. Hello, Anja. So happy you're here, guys. Um, I hope you had a, a smooth um, yeah, move over to the new year and uh, had the chance to enjoy yourself a little bit it's uh, it was a very different new year uh new year's eve new year's day over here but um anyhow the main thing is that we stay healthy at the moment so um so the project for tonight um i've announced it in the hallo Annemarie. hi happy new year to you too um I announced it in the in the description. It's basically when would you would you paint the back of your piece? I usually don't paint the backs of my piece unless they are very ugly. You know, then I do it. Um, but uh, this time, this is a piece. You're probably wondering what the heck is that? It's standing upside. This is the headboard of a bed. This is basically is about two meters long. So I've got it upside, uh, standing on the side, so we can uh, work on it. Hello Sabine, and um, the reason um, I'm painting the back of the whole thing, this was like a plain uh, birchwood, you know, just Instagram removing me over, you can see. This was plain birchwood, and this is like being pimped up. There's like some woody bands on the front, we've already done that. But um, the back I've chosen to paint also because eventually this bed is not going to stay, you know, when you have uh, maybe a bigger room or something like that, maybe they want to put it in the middle. You know, some people do have like uh, different ideas where to, to put their bed. So this is going to be painted on the back also. Um, I've already put down one coat because um, as this is pretty thin um, boards, you know, it's two and it's going to be, you know, across um, the back of your bed uh, at the end like that. And as this is pretty, um, not very wide, and uh, the uh, um, slang. and the blending is uh, is a little bit different on a small area like this. Um, I thought I'm just gonna do that with you because this is maybe uh, a different technique or gives you some some different ideas. And I think I found for myself my new favorite gray. You know, um. I'm a colorful person. I like to paint in colors, but uh, on the other hand, I really like blacks and grays and stuff like that. So the color scheme I've chosen for this headboard, it starts off with uh, Midnight Sky, which is um, almost black. It is, uh, a, well, it's almost black. It's not black black, but it's almost black. I've chosen, and this is the gray I'm talking about. This is Stormy Seas. This is Stormy Seas, and this is um, this is like a bluish gray. Well, like it says, like a stormy sea. You know, I'm a I'm a scuba diver, so uh, I've seen a lot of rough seas, and uh, that's what it looks like. So, um, and the third color, just to brighten it up a little bit, uh, I've chosen cotton, and cotton is the the whitest white from Dixie Bell. So those three colors are gonna go together. And um, I hope you're going to like them as much as I do. So um, let's get going. I'm first going to mix the, the colors up. As the chalk mineral paints by Dixie Bell are highly pigmented. So um, you should always mix them up before you uh, start painting. In general, when you paint with the chalk mineral paints by Dixabel, you don't need to prep your pieces apart from cleaning them very, very nicely. So um, <clears throat> you only have to clean them very, very nicely. That's the only thing you have to do because otherwise no paint is going to stick anywhere. And uh, as this was plain wood, I didn't uh, need to, well, 
and I'm using dark colors and the birch wood is not a bleeder so I don't need any any boss which is uh, which is a stain blocker and I didn't need also any slick stick which would be a bonding primer you know Dixiebel has also um, problem solver so to say but if you have like a normal wooden piece, uh, you don't need to do anything to it uh, apart from cleaning it really, really nicely. Hi, one. <laughs> so um, I've seen I've seen your lunch that looked uh, that looked very delicious. <laughs> so all things I'm not allowed to eat. So the stormy seas just looks like this this is like a, it's a pretty 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 color so um, mix it up also so guys how did you start your new year hallo Ute <laughs> lange nicht mehr gesehen genau <laughs> how did you start you, your new year you actually have it uh, where you come from do you have like uh, do new year's uh, uh, resolutions like um you know whatever stop you know stopping smoking or not drinking any coffee anymore losing weight doing more sports you do that where you come from let me know we do that over here i've never done it because i don't believe in it um i think uh, if you want to change something you can do that any time of the year and uh i don't think if i start doing that uh <laughs> so um yes but sometimes you have to treat yourself Yvonne so um I hope you enjoyed it so the cotton so I found with my icing spatula I've got here the um the mixing of the paint is a lot easier you may have noticed the ones who are following me longer that I used to um, shape my paints, which is per perfectly fine. You can do that. It's just uh, I'm very lazy in cleaning up the lids um, before I close them back up. So um, my lids got stuck a lot of times and <laughs> my neighbors started complaining because every time I wanted to open the jar again, I had to bang it on the floor. We have um, um, eight uh, eight flats around this uh, house here, so it <laughs> was too loud for them. So okay, all mixed up, and um, for blending, um, you can see I've only put the colors down. Uh, you know, so I'm just gonna leave it like that, and then I decided now I want to have it nicely because. Uh, this will be eventually put in the middle of some room or something like that. Yeah, I can imagine. You've got uh, different things to think about, Ivan. So, we have New Year's resolutions in the UK, but I didn't make one this year. I think we have. You are absolutely right. We have sacrificed enough this year. This is absolutely correct. So, um, as I want to blend those uh, colors together, I've brought my Mr. Bubble because um, this is basically the um, this is basically the one of the biggest helps in um, in blending is uh, keeping the paint moist. So Instagram, I'm going to move you over so you can see the project a little better, and. Um, <laughs> exactly. There's a problem, you know, Ivan. When I do my my lives, it is mostly pretty late here, so um, this is uh, they're not too happy about it. <laughs> so I've got my Mister Bottle, and um, I've got uh, you know I love my mini brush by Dixiebel, but uh, the mini brush um, would be you can see you know it would be almost as wide as the the board itself. So it'll make uh, life not that easy with blending. So the brushes I've brought tonight, I've brought the smaller brushes from Dixiebel, which are the, the round smalls and the, um, the round flats, the small, the flat, the flat small, you know, those are the brushes I brought because they're pretty, you know, thin 
And they are the, they are the synthetic brushes by Dixie Bell. And um, yeah, they're for, perfectly for blending. So that's... Um, Ah, uh, yes, we all do, Nina. Yeah, but uh, that dream is almost going on for a year. So um, we have to hang in there. Nothing we can do about it. You know, just grab your paint and uh, make yourself happy by painting. You know, this is what I'm trying to do. So I'm starting the um, flat small. I'm going to mist my brush before I start painting. You know, just like a little dash. And the Mr. Buffle, the nice thing about it is um, they are perfect for uh, blending because the, the, mist, it's, the mist is very fine. So you won't develop drops, you know. So this is, uh, if you want to have drops, you can do that. You know, you're just spraying more on it. But uh, if you don't, you rather, you don't need to, you know. So and I'm just starting. I want to have the, um, just grab like a little bit of paint. I want to have the midnight sky on the outside and then I'm going to come to the then I'm going to come to the stormy seas and the cotton is just going to be a dash in the middle just to brighten the whole thing up a little bit. Not much just to give it a little bit of interest and uh, as I said I usually um, don't paint my pieces on the back but this is obviously something different so this is a headboard of a bed for those who tune in a little later so we're gonna go from there and I'm going to work in sections it's gonna make life a little easier also and this is not about to be like the perfect blend, but uh, it should be like, um, you know, just make it uh, look a little more interesting, you know. Also, when somebody steps behind the bed or moves it um, forward. I mean, this is for, for um, um, so to say, waterbed, which uh, is uh, going to be too heavy to move. But... Um, if this uh, this is like um, this is like um, a piece which can go on any bed, so um, okay. Now I'm gonna come in with my round small. Also missing it, guys. If you have any questions, just let me put them in the comments, and I see if I can answer them straight away. And uh, if I don't see them, just repost them. You know, I'm sometimes blind as a bat. So. Are you painting anything at the moment? I'm going to come in with the Stormy Seas now. Also, again, I always grab just a, like a little bit of, of the paint. So, I'm going to lay that down. Always, you can always reload your brush. So, if the, the brush doesn't move as smooth as you like to, you can also mist your project. And it makes it easier then at the end to move the paints into each other. I'm going already over the, the line where those two colors touch each other. But very gently, you know, I'm just like offloading the brush basically. And yes, the brush is picking up the, the other color you're mo moving over. And yes, I'm dipping it like this into back into the jar. I don't mind contamination. This is only going to be just a little. So you can see that those already move together pretty nicely. So I don't want to have it too dark. That's the reason I'm going over with the stormy seas into the midnight sky and the main thing for blending is keeping the paint moist so it can move into each other so and when you do blending <clears throat> it's always the easiest if you choose colors which are very close to each other so 
the transition will be much smoother and much easier. So you can see when I move over this uh, line where they, those two colors touch, just going up and down, they are moving into each other. So I'm going to come in with some cotton in the middle. I'm just putting down a dash of cotton in the middle. Oh, Nina, <laughs> you felt seasick. Oh, my goodness. Actually, um, I have a water bed and I have it because I, I have a bad back. You know, this is this is much better for me. But they do. Um, they are different. Uh, you can choose the, the mattress, you know. They have um, different. Um, how do I say that? They do have different stages of moving. You know, you can have it move you know, just like the sea moves, but you can also have it move like, um, like uh, almost uh, nothing, you know. So, you know, when, when I was doing the test laying at the time, I was laying in one thing where it was like hardly moving and that felt so strange to me because, you know, I was laying down on that waterbed and I felt like this mattress is just like sucking me in, you know. I'm like, okay, I don't want to have that. So, um, okay, now I'm going to come with the cotton just like a tiny little bit because you're going to see it's going to be offload pretty much. And I don't want to have it, I don't want to have it too dark and I don't want to have it too light. So I'm just going to come in here. The same thing, keep it moist. It's not perfect yet. I'm just going to move those paints a little into each other. I'm just going over this transition line, reactivating the paint underneath. You know, the um, Dixie Dole paints, they are water-based. So basically, when you keep the paint moist, you are reactivating um, also the paint which is underneath so that's also the reason why the first coat should have dried um, pretty nicely baffles um, I think I have to google that what what is a baffle hmm. so if you want to have it a little darker you can come back in with your midnight sky you can move it right into it if you want to, you don't have to. You can go right over the middle also if you want to. This is um, basically totally up to the, um, the look you're going for. So I have the brush now for the for the um, stormy seas and I'm going to go across now right across and I'm gonna go up and down again hardly touching the surface you can see that it gets like really cloudy now And move it to the side, back and forth, and then going up and down, and this is uh, basically the whole trick. You can come in. I also have um, like a neutral brush. What does it look like there? Yeah, that looks fine. Mm. Little walls built into the mattress to keep the water. Ah, yeah, that's probably what it is. And um, as my bed is pretty big, I also have like uh, two separate mattresses. So, you know, so if uh, one on the other side is moving, uh, that you're not like uh, balance off the bed, you know, on your side. So um, that, that, that helps. So then I have my, if you want to um, really um, 
blended even more together. Like it's glowing. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, I've got uh, a round uh, large now for um, as a neutral brush. This brush I'm going to keep uh, completely dry. And I've got like a clean lint-free cloth. Lint-free is um, almost impossible in my household with two cats. So, and with this one, I'm moving it very gently. I'm hardly touching the surface. Just very gently over it. So, up and down, from side to side. As I said, I'm hardly touching the surface. And this is even, um, obviously, you know, it is going to pick up uh, some of that paint as it is still wet under there. Um, so you just clean it off in between and then you can carry it on. You do that until you have a stage where you're happy with it, which I am having here. So that's for me. That's perfect. I'm going to stick with that. I'm going to start on the other side and then we're going to move down. So I think the stormy seas with the cotton and the midnight sky is just giving a, a very lovely contrast. So, um, so guys, for those who tune in late, just say hello to me and tell me where you're watching from. Yeah, Nina, um, if you're not used to it, um, it is pretty, um, it's not, you know, it's not uh, very helpful, I think. Um, so I was happy at the time for my back just to, to give it a bit of a rest. So same thing on the other side. I'm starting with my midnight sky. Laying it down, I'm using my flat small. I'm going to dampen the project itself also. And the reason I'm using the flat small is um, the surface is pretty narrow. So I don't wanna don't wanna put down too much paint basically. You can work your way down. Also, when you're blending, um, work in smaller sections. It makes your life also easier. Use colors which are very close to each other. I mean, they are not too close to each other, especially the cotton coming next to it. Um, but um, with a little bit of patience and practice. Ah, okay. Now. So this, this really helps, you know, this, uh, people with back, back problems. Oops, I missed. I've missed one side. Nobody tells me. Talking and um, painting. It's not, um, women are supposed to be uh, multitasking. Apparently I am not. I've discovered it before. So I'm first going to lay that down. And in my opinion, um, as a you know, blending there is like loads of different ways of blending. There is no right or wrong. Everybody's got his own philosophy about it. Um, so this is the way I do it. Uh, I'm not saying that you have to do it that way. Um, if you want to try it, I'm very happy. If it helps you, it makes me even more happy. So if you don't like it, uh, I don't mind also, you know, as I said, everybody's got his own way of doing it. Again, round to small, pick up my stormy seas. I'm going right over the, the edge also with the, with the midnight sky to pick that up using my Mr. Buffle as those you know, also those chalk mineral paints, they dry really, really quick. I'm hardly moving my um, brush over the surface. So very gently. And those bristles are almost automatically moving the paints into each other. 
you can't walk and chew gum at the same time. I think I can do that. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I never thought about it. I'm actually not. Um, I'm not chewing gum. So, uh, but this this is interesting. This is very interesting. Anybody else who can't do two things in one go, or at the same time, not in one go, at the same time, so to say. So, and um, yeah, Mr. Buffalo hardly moving the, this, uh, hardly touching the surface and going over the, the line where the other color is on and um, you Mr. Buttle and the paint is basically almost automatically been picked up. If you want to avoid contaminating of your brush, you basically um, just clean it in between with a flint free cloth. Clean cloth. Clean cloth. So I've mixed up the I've mixed up the brushes now, which is no problem as I only need a very tiny dash of the white anyway. The connectors, no, they're going to stay like that. I'm going to leave them silver, so I'm not going to paint those. This is gonna go, <coughs> excuse me, dry throat, <coughs> talking too much, sorry. Now they're going to stay like that as the uh, woody bands on the front, they are going to be um, they are going to be in silver also, so that uh, works fine together. So, as I said, I've used the wrong brush, no problem. So I'm basically using the same brush I just used for the um, for the stormy seas for the cotton now. But this is to highlight. A little the middle anyway. So there you go, hardly touching the surface, just moving the brush up and down, keeping it moist. So now I'm gonna come in with the right one for the stormy seas. And always just a little, a little dash of paint. So Oh, midnight sky is already pretty dry. I'm gonna come in with that also. So, just going to dampen the brush for now, see if, how much paint there is in there, as I don't wanna have it too dark. And the paint almost, you know, moves into each other automatically. There's not, not much you have to do. And this is a lot of fun. This is a lot of fun. Sometimes creating new, you know, new shades, which turn out really, really pretty. So, Stormy Seas, one last go right across. Paint is still pretty wet, as you can see. It's wetter than on the other side. Don't mind. So, going across, I'm going up and down, which gives a bit of a cloudy look. This is what I'm going for. And as this surface is pretty uh, narrow, I'm working with the um, with uh, the thin brushes. You know, I'm using the I'm using the. I'm gonna go across again. I'm using the round small and the flat small to lay the paint down so it's not going to get too too blobby. 
One last go, up and down. Then I'm going to come in with my dry brush, clean dry brush, to finish that off basically. So, go. My dry brush is the round large. Thank you, Yvonne. Hi, Linda. Thank you for being with us. <laughs> So, dry brush, clean, no paint, no water, going across first. It doesn't matter if you go, you know, up and down, you know, down, downwards first. You can see there's like this uh, shape now. But when I come down like this now, this is going to disappear. So you can also go in um, slurdy motions, you know, you can go like this to move those together. That also works nicely. Just got to try that out. This is, um, as I said, there is no right or wrong. And this is the way I like to do it. Using a lot of water to put the paint when I put the paint down. I mean, you know, not a lot of water. I keep the paint moving, you know, I keep it moist. I'm not using a lot of water. This this is um, this is rubbish I'm talking. So there you go. And that's something we're going to do right up to the bottom. So you can see this side is a bit lighter if you want to have it a little darker or you want to do the other side a little lighter that's uh, nice and fine but it doesn't have to be uniform not for me anyway Maybe a little further down so you can see when we work in sections how to continue basically the other areas Instagram down, put it down also. Ouch. There you go, guys. I'm gonna grab my chair now. So now we basically check where we stopped. Uh, lint free, yes, there's some cat hair. So thank you, Linda. That's sweet. So guys, Instagram, any questions? Thank you. Thank you, Scott, William, I'm not quite sure what your name is, but uh, that's sweet. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, um, same thing. Mr. Bottle, misting my piece to keep uh, so that the brush moves easier over the, the project also. Misting my brush, having my fingers already covered in all the paint also, one of my easiest things to do. So pick up some of the um, Midnight Sky and I'm going to continue basically what I've done on top, down to the bottom. If you need more paint, just reload the brush. Let's see, there you go. In the bottom part I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it around, which makes life easier. I'm just going to go the area you can see. This is basically when you see that you can work in sections, you don't have to do it in one go. You know, especially if it is a little bit moody, a little bit of cloudy like this piece. So, and when I'm finished here i'm just going to turn it around so you can see what's um what it looks like on the front on the front we've done stuff not talking first do this one <laughs> um what it looks at the front we've done some there's some woody bands on there there's some patinas on there and stuff like that so this is quite interesting 
Okay, now we're gonna come in with the stormy seas. Same thing. <laughs> yes, it makes it more valuable. You're so sweet, Yvonne. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> well, um, I'm not sure if my customers really appreciate it, but this is a good point. <laughs> I, may, I may suggest that suggest that the next time. <laughs> this is a good point. Pet hair makes your piece more valuable. I'll have to remember that one. <laughs> so same thing. Put it down. If the brush doesn't really move easy, just use a little more water. And you can see, you know, the what a difference it makes, you know, when you have a, just that dash of uh, cotton in there. So um, I really like that stormy seas. I don't know. It really, it didn't really appeal to me. I don't know why. And um, Levelin was doing a piece with it where she had like a like a lakeside scene, and she used those three colors. I mean, this is nothing I can compare with that. You know, her paintings are just unbelievable. So um, I just, you know, it just got me interested in those colors. That's um, she's doing beautiful pieces of her work. So then the paint gets dry. Just keep it moving. That's the main thing that it doesn't dry while you're painting. You can go over this the line where the two colors touch each other. Just to it's pretty warm in here. It's like the heating is on. So. This is uh, pretty, pretty warm. I have to use a little bit more, a bit more work, you know, when the paint dries. But still, the, the brush hardly touching the surface. This is basically how you can move those paints into each other. A little bit more up there. Can't really see from this angle here. So now I'm gonna come in with some um, with some cotton, just a tiny dash of cotton. <laughs> at the end, at the end, I like them pay extra for the pet hair. So just like a dash of cotton, you, you see now how far that goes. This was just like the, the, the tips of the brush being covered. And this is so rich. So I'm spreading it out to the bottom now first. And I'm gonna go a little into the Moving it up and down now into the stormy seas. So obviously I don't want to have it white, you know, so I don't mind if this gets uh, gray. This is just like highlighting the middle. This is, you know, not supposed to be white at all at the end. So come in with my stormy seas. I think I want to have a little bit more dark on the outside. That's what I want to have. This also. So now I'm going to come in with my stormy seas again, just a tiny little bit, just dampen that brush. So now I'm going to move it all across, making a complete mess. Complete mess, I like to do that. So then I'm going to come up and down. Always hardly touching the surface. So hardly touching the surface. 
if the brush if you have a feeling it drags or it uh, it sticks or something like that just uh, use your mister buckle to get that moving again so when you're at the stage where you're quite happy with it i'm gonna need a little bit more i'm gonna go across it again Still too harsh for me. I mean, it looks um, it looks harder on the camera anyway than it looks in natural. But still, I want to have this one more blended like this. So. Keep your brush moving over those lines where those two colors touch and they move into each other automatically. So that's better. That's what I like better. And at the end, I'm going to come in again with my neutral brush, which already um, picked up some of the other paint, but it is completely dry. It's not, it's not coming off, you know. So I've got a clean cloth. I'm going to clean it. So, start up there. This is basically where I stopped painting from the top. I'm going to move across it, up and down. So, now I'm just going to clean that off in my cloth, and that's it. So that's basically what's the time? 40 minutes. I think that's fine. You have the idea. And this um still a little. Let's see, I'm not quite happy with this side here. Because I don't want to have brush strokes. I don't want to see brush strokes on this side. I want to have it nice and smooth. So I just went over with my um to swirl it a little bit just came back in with my midnight sky anybody still with me or are you mesmerized <laughs> so that's it my friends you may think this is a, a bit um, much for the back of a piece but as i said this this might be moved around or something like that so um thank you jill thank you that's sweet still somebody there that's good so this is basically what it looks like now it's like still wet there so it's shiny this is why the light shines on there this shiny there but it is pretty much blended so my friends thank you so much for joining me tonight again here we are my name is angela and i'm the owner and creative and oops energy from elfen and helden i'm a premier retailer for dixville over here in frankfurt in germany and i'm very happy you joined me tonight mesmerized <laughs> yvonne i'm so happy you joined me tonight if you watch replay please put hashtag replay into the comments and uh, also let me know where you've been watching from anja danke schön so um, I will be back on live uh, probably not over the weekend, but uh, next Tuesday on the Dixieville page and uh, the usual going through the week. Um, if you have any questions, guys, just don't hesitate to contact me. I'll be very happy to help you out. If you want to shop the products, pop over to the Dixieville page and check for your local retailer. If you haven't got one over here in Europe, I'm very happy to help you out also. So um, I'll post that uh, piece when it's back on the bed, which will probably be next week sometime. So guys, you take care. Thank you for watching and um, I'll see you next week probably. Bye-bye. Guten Nacht, Anja. Bye, Linda. Bye, Yvonne. Thank you so much for being with me. Bye, Jill. Bye, Nina. Bye, everybody.